So I'm going to just tell you guys this. Um, so my one debit card, not the joint one with my husband, um, got hacked. So I filled out some paperwork. I sent it through the internet, the paperwork to RCU that I filled out to dispute four charges that were not me. Because on January 11th, I never used Lyft. I never went and took a Lyft ride. Especially at 5 in the morning and 11 o'clock at night. And on January 13th and the 14th, I never used Apple.com dash payment to, um, I want to say even to make, make a payment. I never used that service. So I'm like... No, someone hacked into your account, and you should have way more money because I didn't see the money from my um, eBay sale of that dog that came in, and it said it deposited, and it shows it in the account. So what I was going to do originally was I was going to put some money in today um, and get the... Um, Money for paying off Winky, because I think next week is its last payment on Klarna. So, um, during this time of the hack, I thought, no, don't put in that money, because otherwise this hacker, before you could, um, go and close the card. So, I closed the card last night on Sunday. Because of this reason. If I went and I waited till um, today to do it, they would go and find a way of taking all the money on you. And you would not have any money to make the payments. So I don't know how long this is going to take, but I told out the payments. So, since the lift ride was, uh, I think, a little over $60 total that this hacker done with my card. I had the card physically on me, by the way. I just don't know how they used the card without them having it. That's the thing I want to say. So, um... The other thing is they used my card on Apple.com payments without my um, card information, which is scary to say. So, I never tell anyone my stuff like that, and, and I'm not going to say that here. I'm not going to show you the paperwork or nothing that I filled out. Um, I'm just going to say I'm. it's just going to be between me and the bank. This is going to take some time, unfortunately. So I told out the unauthorized payments to be a total of $99 in total. Now there might be a dispute fee. So even once this dispute is over, you might only get a little less than mm, $99. So... Um, yeah, so I electronically signed the one paper, so I just wanted to get this all done as quick as possible, so, um, so it really started doing this, like, on Wednesday, and I was getting calls from the bank for fraudulent. And they were pausing to use on my card. And I was wondering what the is going on. And I didn't realize that until I looked at yesterday. And there was supposed to be more money than a dollar or something in that account. So I figured that after the payment 
Um, I want to say the second payment on the black heart bag. Next week, it'll be its third payment. Um, that there should have been like 20 some dollars left. And I'm like, no, there's no way there should be only a dollar and some odd cents. No. Because I double check even with Klarna on a lot of this. And yeah. So that's the dispute I'm doing is on the two lift rides that were done on... January 1st, 2023, one at 5 a.m. and one at 11 p.m. For one thing, yes, I don't get much sleep, but I don't use Lyft Ride. So, um, plus I don't use Apple Pay. So, um, I don't know how RCU's gonna take this. I have to just let them work this out once they get a hold of this, is the thing as well as I can say. And just hope for the best. Um, so, I did close my debit card. I will be getting a new one. Um, so... Being that it was hacked, they're going to send me information probably about, you know, see, really making your card secure, being that it got hacked. So, I know this is going to be confusing even when they're disputing with Visa. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to dispute with Visa. So I just didn't want this um, hacker, like I said, to take more money out on me. Because I had like two eBay sales and both of those did not show in the account. But they showed that they were a deposit, but that money wasn't shown in the account. So that's what was alarming to me. Because I'm like. Wait a minute. There should be more money than this. There is no way. And. And like I would say. $99. Is. N something that. You know. If this dispute gets settled. Would help. A lot for me. I mean, yeah. Um, and that's where I was looking through that statement. And when I seen those four, and like I said, I'm not going to show you the statement or anything. Because, you know, if you all understand, that's private thing. So that's why I'm just describing it in talk. Um, it should be... But, you know, as soon as this gets resolved and they are aware that it was hacked, they're going to look for this hacker. Because if they return this money to me, $99, now this hacker owes Apple Pay, dot com payment, I figured around near $40. And they owe, they'll owe Lyft Ride a little over $60. I mean, when this is done and over with. Plus, um, they're going to have the police keeping an eye on them, being that they hacked an account. You know. Like, like I hate to say, you can't really go hack and things like that. I think that card I only use. Oh, gosh. PayPal and Klarna. But now it's like, oh gosh, now now you get a little leery about that. But otherwise, I would only put it in the RCU debit machine once in a while, and that's it for other little things. But yeah, I'm hoping to find out by the end of the week. 
uh, what the decision is, because this is going to take time. You know, that's all I can say.